everyone, I'm Dr. Laura Bellis, naturopathic doctor, and I'm here today with a brief video about the four types of androgens that you should get tested. If you want to clear your acne, if you want to get rid of hair thinning or facial hair growth in the wrong places, you got to make sure you test all of your androgens. This is a group of family of hormones that actually we sort of classify them as the testosterone family of hormones, and they are present in all women, but a lot of women that I work with have never got them done, or they've only got one or two types of testosterone tested, and they all came back normal. This is a red flag. You got to know that there are four types of, of androgens because three of them can be totally normal. Four of them need to be tested in order to determine if you have an androgen excess problem. Now, androgens are a family of hormones, like I said, that are actually responsible for creating a lot more oil um, in the skin. So we definitely get acne along this, in this pattern, the cheeks, the jaw, lower half of the cheeks, sometimes the chest and the back. We also get facial hair growth, but the coarse, thicker facial hair, including uh, thicker hairs on the abdomen or around the nipple area. We also get thinning potentially on the tops or the sides of the head. So if any of these symptoms resonate with you, it might be your androgens. So what are the four types of androgens? They are DHEAS, total testosterone, free testosterone, and dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short. DHEAS is like the mother hormone. It makes a lot of other hormones, and it is a fantastic overall look at not only your stress levels, but this bucket of testosterone androgen producing, uh, oil producing hormones that belong to the androgen category. So if your DHEAS is high, but everything else is normal, this can still cause a problem because your body uses DHEAS to make all of the other types of testosterone. So beware of this. If you're under a lot of stress, this could be high and it might not be an androgen issue for you. So you always want to work with your naturopathic doctor to get to the root of what's going on. Then we have free test, sorry, then we have total testosterone. I'm jumping the gun. Total testosterone is often tested by your MD because it's testosterone, but it's not the type of testosterone that can do all the acne causing and oil causing symptoms that we can actually get inside the body. It can be a problem if it's freed up, which we'll talk about later. But if you have your total testosterone come back normal, that actually doesn't mean anything. I work with tons of women that their total testosterone is normal, some that are high, but if you've tested your testosterone, double check to see if it was your total or your free testosterone. Total testosterone is stuff that's packaged up and not ready to actually do the damage. We actually have to use free testosterone to do the things in the body that it needs to do. So that brings me to free testosterone. If your free testosterone is tested and it's high, that's the active type of testosterone. So it's really important that we work on reducing this androgen level. Most people have tested total testosterone, but not their free. Now the last, but probably the most important androgen hormone to get tested when it comes to acne, facial hair growth, and hair thinning is DHT or dihydrotestosterone. That is the most potent active version of these androgen hormones, even a small amount above the normal range or even close to the normal range, but in the high level, but you're still not in the red zone, this can still cause a lot of problems for a lot of women. So if you've been on the pill and that cleared your acne, if you know hormonally acne causes are your issue, you've got to look at all types of androgens. So get those four tested, make sure you know your levels, bring them to your naturopath or functional medicine doctor, or better yet, get your, your functional medicine doc or naturopath to run these tests because most MDs will not run all of them. So important. I'm curious to know if you've had all of these tests done. Let me know in the comments below.